What's up? This is Bo from the Local Losers. Ronnie's here. We're actually over at Ronnie's house. Um, he is in getting batteries for his mic, but uh, I wanted to take a look at his truck real quick. This thing is more apart than I would ever want any vehicle that I ever own. I it just looks, it looks super overwhelming to me. Like so he he's doing sense. the back, he's doing the front, he's doing the suspension, he's doing the motor, he's doing everything. And I don't know if I could handle that all at once. That would just stress me out. Hey, is your mic on? Yeah. Nice. I was just uh, talking to the camera, letting them know that uh, having a vehicle this apart would really <laughs> stress me out. Dude, it's pretty stressful. It's like it's never going back together. That's how I would attack this every day. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the worst part is like, Every day I take it more and more apart. <laughs> right on. But no, we're kind of like on the home stretch, you know. Like um, it's, it's, a, it's as apart as it's going to get, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're going to get new lower control arms. These are just worn out. Like the, we're going to do this today, but we're going to replace these. Like this lower ball joint is junk. And then this bushing right here is junk. I don't know if you can see it. But. What bushing? Oh, the one that... Uh, it's in here. Oh, from the lower control arms there? So I don't know if you can see yeah, that the sun's kind of in the way. But We're anyways, looking into the sun. It's moving. So I ordered complete lower control arms. So we're just going to do this side. We may drill our holes for that side. But whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like whatever. It doesn't matter. We're doing bags today, right? Yeah, so... We're going to put in the bags in the front, and what else? And the drop knuckles. And the drop knuckles. Okay. So we're going to put in the bag and the drop knuckles. Oh, okay. I guess, really. You know what I mean? We're just doing one side for the benefit of the video, eh? Yeah, we're doing one side for the video because I just I just got it apart, and I just found out that I need lower control arms. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, so I ordered some. Okay. Okay, so what is that giant plate? Uh, this is the bag plate. So it goes here, where the coal spring was. Okay, that's for the top of the bag, correct? Right. Okay. So what we have to do is drill these four holes out. Just on here? Bigger? No, 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 onto, onto the truck. Oh, okay. All that right. way we can bolt this on. And when I originally got this, I was like, oh, I'll just weld that on. You can't do that. Um, and the reason you can't is because your bag, the, the fitting goes up into this hole. Oh. So and you have so, to be able to access it. Exactly. Like, if, you, if you get a hole in your bag, you got to yeah. be able to take it off. Well, your bolts would all be up inside there, welded <laughs> welded in. That so, would be awesome. Yeah, don't do that. Um, do not do that. As nice and as easy as it would be, don't do that. Um, we also, we got to figure out, like, where we're going to drill a hole for our airline to run. Okay. I want them to run, like, along the top of the frame rail. So we'll probably come out somewhere in this area. We just got to make sure that, like, the shock isn't going to pinch it or anything like that. Okay. Um, and we're running big line. Like, this is 3 8 line. So, it's not real flexible. It's not real bendy. Is, uh, is quarter more the norm or yeah, smaller than that? Yeah, quarter is more maybe? like the norm for, for most cars. What happens is, <clears throat> quarter is really easy to run because it's real flexible and it's small but i wanted the truck to air out and air up fairly quickly and the larger the line the more volume you get right and so the more volume of air the quicker the truck's going to air up yeah, and the quicker sense. it's going to air out and so that's why i wanted to go with 3 8 line was just so we'll have a quick air up and air down time um and being so we have to like fittings are more expensive and the line's more expensive it's not as easy to work with because it's stiffer like everything about it is just harder but in the grand scheme of things if you're trying to like look cool it looks cooler <laughs> so. and that's what it's all about yeah exactly to hell with the rest so what's first what is that that's the bottom plate yeah that's the, the bottom airbag plate. yep it just goes there yep just like that with just... like a bolt or something or no nope. It just goes in there. It just sits there in the airbag. It, I guess pressure's held between like the ball joint or something. It holds pressure on the airbag. Yeah, so there. you have your control arm that holds these together, right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And so the bag can't go anywhere because it's 
stuck in between the two plates and the bag has a hole in the bottom and it gets bolted to the plate. Oh, okay. And then it gets bolted to this plate. All right. So you slip the whole shebang down in there, jack it up with the jack, put your control arm on and you're pretty much done. Ronnie's over here banging on stuff. Trying to get like somewhat aligned. Yeah. So I got the plate on. I bought these uh, vice grips today just for just for holding this in place. Nice. They still have the tags on them. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you know? Harbor Freight quality. Those are warning tags. Do not use these for nipple clamps. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> or would it? I mean, I mean it somebody, would be unless you're into that, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, here he goes. I'm going to say a prayer and see if he can get through this, this metal. Who does that? <laughs> no surprise. Do it, ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> Come out. All right, Oops. we got what, four Can holes to drill? Yeah, three Is more. That it? Three more. We're only an hour and a half into this episode. <laughs> For like 10 minutes, <laughs> you yeah, don't believe yeah. me. So if you look there, you will see that we have four holes drilled. I think you can see that. Um, the camera's on the gimbal, so it's kind of hard to get it in position to see. But yes, we have drilled four holes. Um, they're on the outer lip of like right here. Let me get off, off the ground like a lazy ass. You can see right there. They're drilled on that outer lip right there. Yeah. And now it's just the plate and bolts, right? Nuts and bolts? Yes. So before we do that, we need to mount the bag up to the plate and the bag up to the cup, and then we'll put it all in as one unit. Okay. Um, so I had one bolt in the bottom, put that in there, two bolts up top in this fitting. When you do these fittings, I recommend getting some Teflon paste and putting that on there. That stuff's so nasty. You could do Teflon tape, but if you do tape, you have a potential of like missing part of the threads and then it getting in there and then it clogging a line and then that bag not working. That's a good point. So if you use paste, you don't gotta worry about it. Um, the other thing, I don't wanna fight with trying to get my line in here. So since we're right here, we're gonna go ahead and just fit the line up when we bolt this in and then we can cut this later. That's a good idea. When you cut this stuff, you can't use a pair of dikes because a pair of dikes will smush it and then it won't fit into this compression fitting. Okay. So you have to take a razor blade and like kind of saw at it and try to make it as flat as possible. They do make tools that have like a V-shaped razor blade and you just like put it on there and you squeeze it and it's supposed to cut it straight. Um, this was supposed to come with one, but it didn't. Whatever. It was supposed to come with a tool? Yeah, it was supposed to, to cut come it? with a tool. Yeah. That's nice. But it didn't. Whatever. Well, we it's care. not nice that it didn't, we but can, whatever. We can figure it out. <laughs> so, figure it out. We got a razor blade. You know what I mean? We got it done. A real gangsta always keeps a razor on him. <laughs> For the coca. I mean, to cut a food. <laughs> Either or. Either <laughs> or. Cocaine or, or assaulting someone. <laughs> I like that. Oh, man, our hole might be too high. It's a widow type. Oh, come here. Oh, oh man. Um, okay. Is your take... fitting not swiveling? Yeah, or so what? it's hitting the bolt, and I think I need it to go in between the two bolts. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and scooch it over there. I don't know. Our hole may be too high. What do you mean, too high? Um, like too high up. Remember I said this stuff isn't oh, very yeah, flexible? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's going to go out the side. So it may be too high up and we don't have enough flex in our line Gotcha. to get it out that hole. Remember, we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, I think the hole is in a no good spot. So we need to drill it lower, you said, or make it bigger or what? Yeah. Probably drill it lower, um, which wouldn't exactly be the easiest thing, but I think we can figure it out. So it fits just like that. Yep. Well, kind of like that with yeah. the lower control arm. This goes <laughs> under there. Dang. 
You were right, man. It goes right in there, just like the spring. So, I was asking Ronnie when we were off camera, I was like, with these bags being in here with this setup and the new drop knuckles, is this going to sit like, when this is all the way aired up, is it going to sit lower than factory? And he said five inches. I think about. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Roughly. I explained it to both. About five inches. It makes sense to both of us. <laughs> Which means nothing. Yeah, it means literally <laughs> That nothing. it makes sense to us. And not, All right. Not. It's drop knuckle. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude. This thing weighs like 25 pounds. It's heavy. That's ridiculous. <laughs> um, and I said 25 pounds, like 25 pounds is a lot, but it is when you're a little guy like me. <laughs> when you're a little wussy. I was a golfer in high school, not a football player. Dang, dude. <laughs> Golf's so much fun. It totally is. All right, so we got the bag all hung. He's got the, the hole poked for the uh, air hose. Air line's right here. I'm trying to move it so you can see it moving, but you can't see it moving very much, but you can see the air line. It's right in the middle. <laughs> Figure it out. Uh, <laughs> Did you say it's so sick? Yeah. Like, all honesty, as big of a visual difference as this makes, like putting bags on something, and as complicated as it is to put bags on a truck, like, this is super easy. I mean, it looked really easy. Like, it was way easier than I thought it was well, going to be expect, before, I, right? before I came over here tonight. <laughs> so, and that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not bad at all. What'd you grind off right there? Spring perch? Um, right under your hand? Stop. Oh, bump stop. Yes, sir. So it was this right here. And the reason you grind it off is so that the bag doesn't have anything sharp to touch. Oh, that makes sense. Um, you don't want it touching anything anywhere. Yeah. You can rub a hole in it. You don't want a hole in your bag. Exactly. I had a buddy, um, my buddy Austin, he had a wreck on a four wheeler and tore a hole in his bag. And then he sent me a video later of him getting surgery on his it. ball bag? Yes, his ball bag. I think he had a ball come out. <laughs> he just pushed it back up me. in there, and I think he, I don't know, taped it up or I something until it. he got to the hospital <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. But he sent me a, a video of him getting surgery on his ball bag. He was awake for that? I guess. <laughs> That's I, terrible. Unless somebody else took the video. Oh, Austin, I'm telling your hilarious stories <laughs> on my youtube channel so just, For the know, world to see. just know that um maybe i'll send you a sticker or something discount on a t-shirt because <laughs> uh, we're laughing at your expense right now so let's check this out what are we checking out i'm gonna jack it the up compression there. or what check out that gorgeous harbor freight jack Dude, sick. <laughs> There's so much more to go. Dude, that's crazy. Like this right thing's there, it started so putting low, some weight dude. on the jack. This thing is going to be so low, like ridiculous low. <laughs> and that's with like no chassis weight. Like there's no engine in it or anything, so that's it'll crazy. even go up higher. <laughs> um, we do have to, so when you do this and you go to the three inch drop knuckle, we do have to put this. It goes on the bottom, not the top. Oh, okay. Factory, it goes up top. So we'll have to adjust that and move it to the bottom. But look at how straight that knuckle stayed, dude. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That was crazy. God, dude. <laughs> I, tur I turned the camera on and just totally just assumed it was recording. <laughs> it was not. And anyway, I just talked and, I don't know, for like three, four minutes. Mm. Now I don't feel like talking anymore. My goodness. <laughs> Anyway, I was talking about how Ronnie is geeking out like super hard over this truck. He, uh, like every time I bring it up, every time I come over here, he's got to give me the whole rundown of what we're doing, what we're doing next, what we've been doing, what it's going to look like, what it's going to ride like. It's only because I've it's changed like a, my mind. It's like a half hour times. thing. What's up? He said it's only because I've changed my mind 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> he does change his mind a lot about aesthetics and mechanicals. 
I will be finishing that side off camera when I get the control arms. That way the front will be finished. Um, I'm, when I do that, I'm gonna put wheel bearings on it. Uh, I was gonna do brakes, but really the pads are in pretty good shape. Like they're not bad, you know, they're pretty thick and the rotors don't have a lip on them or anything. So I think I'm just gonna leave them. Um, plus the rotors are $120 a piece. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They're kind of ridiculous. But um, you know, everything about this truck is gonna be fairly expensive. I mean, the four link, six link, whatever the link kit is, I mean, was not super expensive, but I mean, it's I mean, just it an expensive part in yeah. general. The truck's gonna be expensive and like, I get that, but but it's your dream truck, yeah, so why I don't, not, I don't why really not spend it? So, um, but we'll be doing that. But the next thing, the next thing that'll be on camera will be getting the four link done. So nice. we have a video that's out about the four link and- And we have another one that's about to come out about all the bars that we just got. So on the bars and stuff, the, 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 the bracket that bolts to the axle, that goes to the axle, it doesn't fit. Um, the guy got it from, he made it for a single wheel uh, truck. And a single wheel is, <laughs> um, <laughs> has a GM 14 bolt. Well, this is a, a, a one ton crew cab with the um, TP on the side, which is the camper special. And because of that, it has a Dana 70 HD in it. And so the 14 bolt is a three and a half inch axle tube. And this is a four inch axle tube. So he didn't actually fit on there. So he's building us some new ones. We're gonna send him back the three and a halfs. That way, if one of you guys order once, he can send you those. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing next. And that's why we haven't done it yet. We probably would have already had it done, at least half of it and been cutting out the frame. But ran into a little problem as you do when you're building something like this. Does anybody ever like, I, 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 these drums are the biggest drums I've ever seen on anything. Does anybody ever like, can you disc swap these or did these ever come with like a disc on them? Are they all always all drum or what? That's a Dana 80 you said? This is a Dana 70, 70. HD. Okay. And so being that it's a Dana 70 HD, I don't know. If it was a Dana 80, yes. If it was Dana 70, yes. If it was a GM 14 bolt, yes. Being that it's a Dana 70 HD, I, could, I can't tell you. I, I don't know. I'm, I, I want to. That's definitely something that I want is discs in the rear. Really? Um, yeah. Discs, discs dissipate heat better. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're better for towing. And e easier to maintain. Um, <laughs> e easier to maintain. But the big thing is when you have a drum, you can't, you can't bias your brakes as hard to the rear. Where when you have discs, you can. You can really kind of lean on your rears a lot. Um, and when you're towing a trailer, you want all the axles stopping as much as they can. So you want like 60, 40 if you're on disc, whereas like this is probably 80, 20 at best. Interesting. Um, so I would like to do discs eventually. I just, now that we have this that I didn't know was here, yeah. we have to figure it out. All right. But that's the video for today. That is the video. Like I said, we have another C30 video that's out where we open up all the, the link bars and everything. Um, the bars are all the same for the for the ones that we're getting and the ones yeah. that we the ones that we're sending back it's just a couple of brackets that are a little different they're a little smaller or yeah. bigger our, the ones ours that we're will be bigger. bigger yeah the ones right. that we're getting are but they'll bigger. all look the same so um you'll probably see that video before you see this video so i don't know why i'm saying that <laughs> <laughs> so they'll go watch it that's why anyway uh stay tuned we just put out a uh hard body video about intake elbows intake elbows if you didn't see that go watch it it's got a lot of good information don't skip over stuff because you'll send us a message about something that's in the video and i'll it be won't like make sense and we won't understand yeah, exactly. what you're talking about <laughs> so we'll see you later be good bye guys